Welcome back, fellow gamers. We are back in Oxygen Not Included. And today, I'm not really happy with this power setup, right? It works, but it feels like it's going to break any day now. <laughs> but it works for now. As you can see, my batteries are pretty much always empty. So I need to find a way to increase our power supply. And I've been digging this out in my free time, behind the scenes, off camera. Yeah, I've been doing some mining off camera, right? And so I found a natural gas geyser and a hydrogen. I had no idea these were there. I thought I found all the geyser, but apparently not. So today we're going to increase our power supply. And I'm thinking I'm going to eat I'm going to add these two to the mix. But I'm also going to try to create like a sauna, I believe it's called, where you use lava to power a bunch of aqua turbines to give you a bunch of powers, right? I've never done one before, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. And we want to get this water under control. So I want to create like four big boxes of water somewhere, maybe like here, and store all the water. So we'll have regular water, polluted water, brine, salt water, and oil somewhere over here. I'll put an infinite storage in the middle, but we'll do the big box so it looks, you know, it looks good. So what I have to do now is just dig. This is my second time recording this intro because I started the episode and I sent Max to the other plan to do some work and I was just bored with it. <laughs> I had no interest in this whole conversation. So yeah, Max is over here. He's doing some stuff. What I wanted to get was this Arbor Seed. And then I realized Max can't actually activate any of the things. And I don't know where the other one is. Maybe it's up here. Cause I'm missing the input. So I can't send items back to him. I mean, back from him. I'm guessing it's somewhere down here, but I don't want to dig into this area because these guys are going to do a lot of work. I believe with this uranium. And I don't think I want to mess with that too much. Cause it seems like all here is cold and I definitely don't want to let that heat in. There's some heat, not a lot of heat around the place. And if I don't put industry in there, it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, so I'm going to send Max back home. And the only thing I really wanted from this plant was the arbitrary. It's just seeds that I couldn't get normally I wanted. But everything else here, I think I pretty much can get. But this is not a bad plant. It has a lot of stuff you need. I see also a cool slush geyser. But it is tiny. Compared to my main planet, it's really small. Yeah, so <laughs> we can figure that out a little later. But let me send Max back home. And send Max away now. Now we'll send him home and teleport yeah because max is over here he's suffering with his 6 11 actually and i have no use for him i have nothing for him to do here because i can't he can't actually do the work on this side for me and there he is back in the kingdom back home back where he belong trying to do stuff yeah he's gonna be good as soon as he get in the base ah uh, you know he loves that right now back in that feeling that like that gross air I did put him on a different schedule. I had a whole plan for that, but I just didn't feel that. Ep <laughs> that one wasn't going to make a decent episode for me. So that is Max. I'm going to finish digging this out for a bit, and then I'll come back to you once I finish digging this out. Oh, this is going to take a while. All right, so we are back, and I have done some digging. Well, they have done some digging. I've just given commands, <laughs> but they have dug this whole place out. That should not be true. Yeah, I ain't producing enough. We're good. We're good. I don't really care about that. We'll ignore the oxygen <laughs> warning over here. And this system is pretty much almost at temperature. I think now I could raise it. Okay, it's at 20 already. And 20 is where we want it to be. So I think that's fine. I might put it to like 25 actually. And so when we start sending this into the base, it won't be an issue. At certain parts of the base is starting to cool down a little too much. But yeah, we'll fix that at a different time. But for now, as you can see, the whole bottom here is dug out. And not only that, we also left a little spot for them to pump everything up and fill in a lot of this place. So all that's left for me to do is grab this pipe and connect it here. <laughs> I guess somebody needs to build that too. Once that's built, this should all work. So I have the, the liquid separate into their own tanks. This way they're all in their own place. Oh, it's not going to have power for a while, but whatever. That's fine. But they're all set up. Pipes are going. Yeah. So as soon as this power system is finished, we should be good. We should be ready to fire the system up and see what it could do for us. We just got to wait for them to finish. And with that, we have power. And there we go. Like no liquid should be coming here. So I do have the infinite storage here. So once this pipe is full about here, it's just going to store infinitely here. Okay, that's going to shut off this. So that's the goal for this one. For now, we're just pumping in all the oil. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is for temperature exchange. I want to keep these towels nice and cool so yeah this is gonna be running for a minute so i am just gonna let this run for a bit 
by a bit i mean lots and lots of cycles and hopefully by then it's all filled up well hopefully by then it's all drained all right so i had this idea of showing this whole thing draining but <laughs> it's been like 20 minutes and a lot of a lot of oil is gone but looking at this it's gonna take decades so i'm gonna continue what i'm doing and <laughs> what i want to do is get all the oil in here so i want to pump a ton of oil in here and then I want to pump a ton of um, oil refinery and petroleum generator. But first, I want to try to see if I could build a sauna. And I'm thinking maybe here would be a good spot to do it. So what I'm thinking we need to do is, I don't know how, I don't know what I'm doing. So let's see, right? So we put the first one there. Like that. Okay, so that's going to be second should I do just two like could I do that little space I think I saw a design like this on bridge gaming but I'm kind of taking my own liberty <laughs> in my builds as I've done with all of them so I'm thinking so one two three four And then we go straight over here like this. Uh, let's make this a priority one for now because I don't actually want them to build those. Okay, so that's gonna work. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that should be more than enough. And then we drop all our water right here on this tile that's gonna be exposed to lava. And hopefully we can get all this heat, right? So I could come here and do something like that. I think this might be my area. It's going to take a ton of water, but that should give us 8,000 watts of power. I think right now on our main network is being current load is 6,000. So we have a potential 22,000, but we only use about six to seven at a time. So I think this might be a good thing for us. I'm just going to put them at five and then let them work on their own. And then I'll come back once these are done. What I'm thinking for these, right, is that I have the water drop here. And then once it drops here, it's going to hit the lava and that should be enough to create tons of steam. And then hopefully that's enough to power all these guys. I think 8,000 is a good amount of power and I'll figure out a place to put the petroleum system. Maybe a bit like a cooling loop over here to do the petroleum. Yeah. So we do have to cool this down though. I think in here is going to be too hot to put a aqua tuner. So I'm thinking. All right, so this design, the pipe running is a mess at best, but we'll see how this all go. We never know. This might work. I doubt it, but it might. So I'm just going to let them finish the building and I got to pump this out, don't I? I didn't even connect power to this. Oh, I have so much work to still do. I think that's power. I just need to create a power bank somewhere. This took way too long to drain. Try and drain all this water here. I haven't looked back in the video yet, but I'll put a, I'll put like an little image up, but I've been here for a minute. And what has been my saving grace is that I have a mod on that lets me mop anywhere. Oh, these dupes are the, are the way better, way better than this guy. Yeah, these dupes are amazing. <laughs> so they've been mopping. I just got to figure out how to get all the water into these things and we'll go from there. As you can see, I messed up my polluted water here a little bit. So I am draining this again and then I filled with hydrogen and hopefully we get no polluted water. We don't know yet. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, this has been a chore. This is all going to be heat up. I give them a massive command. Hopefully they start cleaning that up soon. And since these guys I have these guys set to sweep only, but they seem to be taking forever. I'm going to try raising the priority because I need this done like yesterday. But yeah, so this is it done yet? Are you a void? Not yet. Almost. Uh, I still have a long way to go. Uh, I almost gave up on this episode until I realized that I could do the mop command. If it wasn't for that, you guys would have been seeing something totally different. <laughs> I would have like end this here and start doing something else. And just let it run in the background. Like I've literally waited so long that I've cleaned up this whole area. 
except for you know all the regular and slime that has come back up here because of the fact that you know what do you call it midi storms so because of all the media storms it kind of get filled back up up here but as you can see yeah i dug almost all this up and the reason i'm still leaving this barrier here right now is that there's shovels up there and i want to do a shovel farm next episode because my food there's a lot of food right but there's not a lot of meat food you need more meat not just all veggie right so i want to get more meat in their life so i'm gonna create like a i think it's shovels they're called these things where are they this guy yeah because when they die they drop they drop all the meat i mean all of it um sixteen thousand calories yeah any meat that's available in the world they drop it all all right so let's wait for this to get down to zero so we could get a vacuum going all right so we almost have this place is a void but then I saw this pesky carbon dioxide that wouldn't move. So now I gotta build a bridge all the way over there. So we're at 17. I think once it hit five, it started deleting. And I don't know if I need to get rid of all the polluted oxygen because it is gonna turn into steam, right? But the carbon dioxide I think is an issue. And I have to get the bottom here cleaned up. Just they're just taking forever to do anything with it, which is a little bit frustrating. But we're gonna have to let this run for a bit. I have to <laughs> this whole episode has been me waiting a lot. There's been lots of waiting. I forgot. I forgot that oxygen not included has a lot of wait time where you just have to sometimes just sit back and just wait. Yeah. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. Just waiting. Okay. There we go. It's starting to delete itself slowly because as it comes from up here, which is like eight, when it hits the area and oxygen not included realize, oh, there's not enough in here. It's deleted. It's automatically deleting itself. And we're stuck in the save load. I've been getting this screen where it's like it's freezing longer in the save screen. And I'm guessing it's just because of the fact that the game is getting bigger. I'm going to super speed this because I'm tired of waiting. I've been waiting for this forever. Okay. <laughs> it's been so long. I've been waiting for this for so long. You have no idea. <laughs> it's ridiculous how that carbon dioxide just took over the entire thing after I was almost done. I was almost done. <laughs> this game just wants to drive me mad, doesn't it? I guess we gotta wait now for the carbon dioxide to go away. All right, I'll be back once I finish waiting again. And we're back after an eternity later. Um, pops are super slow. Ah, uh, there has to be a better way. So lava is at 1600 degrees. We, I don't think any of my blocks can handle that. Now, metal tiles, I believe one of these guys can. So these are the metal tiles I have access to. Iron, we're looking at 1500. Copper is 1000. Lead is terrible. So is gold. Tungsten is nice, but I don't think I have a ton of that. Steel is as expected. So the three, the three iron tiles we have that might be useful is iron, which is at 1500. Tungsten, which is 3000. And steel, which is 2000. Uh, and this is 6, 1800 now. What is the hottest here? Yeah, so 1600 is the hottest. So ideally, I would want to get, I'm thinking maybe tungsten here. I want to put it right there. So what I'm going to do is try to build here and here. I believe obsidian tiles should be able to survive. Yeah, they'll be good. Very high, very high melting point. So these guys should be able to build this for me. Once they build this, I'll deconstruct this. Actually, I could deconstruct this now. I'm gonna have them build those two sides, drop here. And this might be a terrible place to start because we don't have a ton of like heat to work with here. But I didn't realize that there was obsidian here until <laughs> it's too late. Yeah, let's do that. That's gonna work for now. And like I mentioned, they still gotta clean this up. It's just taking forever. Ooh, vacuum. Yeah, no gas. Nice. No little blobs is gonna mess our day up, which is amazing. So now we are truly done with <laughs> all the gas working here. And I can start deconstructing stuff. Honestly, all of this can go. I also want to pick this up and it's just going to be a cleanup because in here is going to be hot. So I don't really want the dupes running back and forth. I think even with their suits on, they'll still get scalding. But yeah, I may let them try to clean this up too because it's a lot of sweeping and they seem to not want to sweep and I don't know why. All right. So now it's clean. It's ready. It's finally clean. I had to put like a bunch of things here and then just tell them to drop it all there. So I just move everything from here to over here. We'll figure that out later. Just not today. Now this is pretty much done. I got a bunch of water coming here. I got this much water to play with. So we'll see how well that goes. And <laughs> I've never messed with lava before. So I'm a little nervous. So let's put that there. That should be obsidian. It is priority nine that and priority 
Not in that one. So somebody come and do some work. Don't dig it first. Okay, okay. Um immediately clean this up. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, she built both. Cause she's a G like that. Look at that. All right. That is hot. <laughs> this metal tail immediately hit eight. How much is these hitting? It's going up a little. Let's eh, put that there. And I'm using steel because I don't have any tungsten. So steel it is. I don't want it melting. Let's do both sides. Right? I got two is better than one. Oh, wait. This one might not work, actually. Oh, oh it did work. Okay. I was afraid that I was going to like push the lava up and I didn't definitely didn't want that. How is this unreachable? Okay, there we go. Now let's clean this last abyss light up and then we should be. Yeah, this stupid 12, 1300, 1400 and rising. Oh yeah, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be good. Um, <laughs> let's hope nothing melts. Okay, now let's stop you geniuses from coming back and forth. Um, no one is allowed. All right, so these tiles are at 1200 degrees and going down. Let's stop that. I guess there's no environment. So we have steam. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might have messed up just a little. Um, <laughs> I forgot. Aqua Tune is not ready. All right, so now this is all running as it should ish kind of be. We have this being cool right now. It's cool in the 40 something, but it's going to drop a lot more. That's built. That's built. It's going. Yeah, it's at 40, but it's coming in at 70. So two aqua turbines should cool this down a lot. I have them both set to zero, so that shouldn't be too bad, which should keep all these steam turbine nice and toasty, but nice and cool. Now, let's see if we can get all these guys to 100% power. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm already getting Ignis Rock. I'm already sucking the heat out of this rock at a quite a substantial rate, which is going to be interesting. Temperature is dropping really fast. That one is at 100. It's a little, it's getting warm, but it's going to cool down, I hope. Let's stop pouring my water for a second. Let it do its stuff. It is sucking up. This is creating a full 800 watts, which is nice. This one is creating five. We're going to try to get much more heat in here. If I had thought about this better when I was doing it, I would have mirrored this over here. So that I need less steam and it would have worked a lot better. But of course, my ability to plant is so close to zero. I want to get here to about five, six hundred. I think that should push everybody up a little bit more. And the big thing, right, is are these batteries starting to charge? They are. Look at that. Look at that. We're finally in a surplus. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy that this is finally a surplus. Are these steel? Yes, they are steel. <laughs> I didn't mess that up either. Oh, you have no idea how happy I am that I'm finally getting the surplus of power. We have two of them at full power. I don't know how much water I have. I have enough water. I think I have enough water. I think I have enough water. We should be good. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right. So we're at three of them is almost at 100. Come on. Pop more water into it. I'm just going to pump enough water until all these guys get to about 100. I still got a couple tons of water here. Oh, look at this battery. Look at these batteries. I think it's been so long since my batteries have been high. Um, Actually, even these guys were starting to like kick, kick on. But now everybody's being powered. I love this. This is so amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually fixing the power issue. We're actually doing it. Uh, is it just not hot enough yet? It's still not hot. I need more heat. Temperature's not bad. They're at 50. Even the farthest one away is at 50. The closest one, actually, these would be the farthest. They're at 60. I plan to put a power bank on um, battery banks up here. So that's why I have like, I have like just, it just dumping an unnecessary amount of air in here. And what I should do, and then I'll suck the air out of here, make a vacuum, and then just do hydrogen. Because now we have this hydrogen vent, I can play with hydrogen a little bit more. And power, I don't have to worry too much about it. It is nice that we are getting more power than we're using. Power stored, power produced. So we're producing nine wall nine kilowatts. And we're from nine to twelve, it looks like. But we're using about eleven. So I definitely need to get this running a little hotter than it is. As you can see, water is starting to accumulate here. We're starting to get too cold. So I definitely want to get into some of this. I pick up really bad spot. I should have picked anywhere else <laughs> to build this thing. But four sites 2020. So let's have somebody come in here. Okay, I think that's more than enough water for now. And what we're going to do 
this is steel do that do that and i'm gonna have somebody come in here deconstruct this at a nine definitely want to put some more heat in here hopefully this i'm hoping i'm not overlooking something with this and it's going to cause me a bunch of issues later there we go that should be jumping right back up we should be pushing tons of heat back in here come on oh no 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 nope this did not go as planned bill please bill please i don't want lava coming back up here okay awesome that worked <laughs> i was so scared oh all right so that's that that should work as soon as she's finished here i should boost the priority so she gets some help we can't have block pipes nobody wants their pipes to be blocked let's see come on so we have a lot of water in here we got a lot of heat in here so we should be able to hopefully get as much as these things going as possible there we go now what is my <laughs> what is my power production i'm producing 12 and i'm making 10 which is beautiful and then what we're also going to do i think it's jumbo batteries you want to use like that i'm thinking about putting a smart a smart battery here and run some wires to shut all these off if it's full all right so that should be the entire power system set up we just have some more building to do and as always I'm going to hit those up in a nine because I need them done like yesterday. And yeah, so this should be the entire power system pretty much built and I should be set for a while. I'm not sure why it's not as efficient as it should be. It's really hot. You would think you'd get at a hundred percent, but for some reason turbine is too hot. Oh, maybe, you know what I need to do? I need to push this back one and then create like a heat thing. I need to find a way to control the temperature in here. Because right now we're just sucking all this heat out. For the time being, I could do something like that. And that might help a little bit so we don't hit the 8 to 900 heat. But yeah, these guys are going to do some more build with me. They should be all pretty decently <laughs> built up. And once they finish building this, for the most part, our power issue should be taken care of. I'm just going to have to let this cool down a little bit more. Yeah, so I have to figure out how to like get this to like a decent temperature. Because I think I need to get this to about 200 degrees and that should be able to power all of these me. But yeah, we'll figure out a different day for now. This is going to be my duct tape solution to power. The two aqua turbine is not keeping up. What I should have done is cool them down properly first and then kick them off. So even though there's two of them, they're not able to eat all this heat. And I'm using a bunch of inefficient. I should make this more efficient, shouldn't I? So what I can do is put liquids here make all these into a vacuum and maybe fill it with hydrogen or just leave a void. And that should keep it much cooler than it's currently doing. Right now it's being cool with carbon, um, carbon dioxide. And as everyone know, carbon dioxide sucks. Um, it just doesn't do much. So I'm going to think about that for a second. For now, I think we're doing pretty good since we got a surplus in power. So we got a lot of power coming from a lot of different places, which is really nice. But yeah, we just got to stabilize that power. And that fluctuating is too big. So I'll figure out the, I'll think about a way how to do something with this. Um, Cause this battery is actually going down. And that's because these guys are not staying cool. So I definitely got to put a more efficient cooling system here. You know what? I'll be back. I'll be back. Let me, let me go do some more work. This has to have been the most frustrating project I've ever done in um, oxygen included. Trying to get this system to run at a cool temperature has been like stressful because it just wouldn't cool down. As you can see, I now have four steam turbine connected, which is barely doing enough to keep it cool. As you can see, it's sending the water out at 40 degrees, but it comes back at 100. Yeah, so I'm not getting cool and done properly here. I'm guessing maybe this is where um, I've seen the comment like I should do the polluted, ox polluted water because that's a better whatever you call it. And maybe I'll try that a little later. Replace this with um polluted water and see if that makes a difference. Because this has not worked out at all. Well, it's working now, right? Four aqua turbine later. <laughs> it's finally I have a decent amount of them cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And this one is still getting cool. The crude oil is staying pretty cold. It's still about 80 degrees here. But then by the time we get past this other one's at 94. So this one here has a lot of temperatures to be eat still. As it cooled down more of these guys, it'll get better. But this one is a concern. Right? So every now and then I have to come in here and do something like 
this just to make sure that this one stays below 100. Because it's eating the temperature from here and we definitely want it to eat that temperature. But yeah, we are producing a little bit more power and it's not enough to store yet. But if you take a look, yeah, we're going from seven. We're still a little below, right? So we're producing a decent amount of power right now. It's just not constant. And as, and as soon as we get all these cool down, so we're, we're working in this one now. As soon as we get to like maybe here, I think that's going to be 10 steam turbines running. And that should keep us at a decent pace because we need about 900. So everything else on my system only has to create about a thousand more watts versus the 8,000 that this is going to create on its own. My goal is to have this set up as the primary, but it seems like power consumption wise, we're steadily using about 8,000. Yeah, we will be steadily creating about 8,000 watts at a time. The only, this one is going to create for me about a thousand too, which is good. And then where's the other one that's just going to waste power? This one here. So this should create a decent amount by itself too, because each one of these is 800. I have a little bit store up, so this shouldn't be too bad. So we should be good for power. I think we'll be good because like, I think if I look now, I'm creating 1400, but we are using 13. Yeah, we got to work power out. It's going to be interesting to figure this out. Even my coal almost ran out in the, in the time it took to do this whole project here. So for this now, it's all set up hygiene inside. It's still a little hot, but down here is much cooler. Um, I was testing where to put the thermal sensor to get better reading and I up here seems to be a lot better. So I have it set to 280, which seems to be enough to get almost all of them running when they run because the temperature up here is about 280, 280. Yeah, that seems to be a good, I don't know what's like the ideal temperature for a steam turbine, like a steam temperature, but yeah, this is what we're doing for now. So this should be working. Um, and it doesn't seem to be sucking a lot of heat out of here. No, it does. Yeah. Cause this was at 1600 before, right? And we are down to 14, but I'm not seeing Ignis rock down here. Just seeing the obsidian that I accidentally mined. So I think for now, I think this is good. And this should get us through for a long time. It's just four aqua turbine. I can't believe I have to use four and they are running nonstop. So hopefully soon it's going to get to the point where only they're not going to always be running. They're all set to zero. So once they hit zero, they should turn off. And this is my take on power. <laughs> it's, it's, it feels like it's the worst way to do power, but yeah, this is what we have set up. The next thing I have to do is set up a steam room. Cause some of these machines, like I need a place for, to make steel and keeping it cool is an issue. Cause this area is going to lose its cool soon. Yeah. So I need a steam room soon. I'll have to figure that out. We got, if you know a good steel steam room design, let me know. I think I'll start using tutorials versus trying to make things of my own. Cause that's been going very, very splendidly well for me. So I am your host, Average Gaming. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll catch you all in the next one where we, where we try to go to space. I think, I think it's time we take a look at what's going on outside our galaxy, our little rock. Cause we have, as you can see, I've done no space research. So. I'm thinking this time we take a look at what's going on out there and that's going to be a trial for me. So any tips you have, please let me know and I will catch you all later. Good night folks.